Recently, Marysville's physics class put on a catapult project. The catapult project has been a Viking tradition for juniors over the years at Marysville High School. These students put their creativity and knowledge to the test by constructing a catapult that must launch 20 feet. They created this by using their understanding of what they learned in their physics classroom. Here with us, we have Mr. Nick. He's here to talk about the involvement with the students and how the project went over this year. Hello, Mr. Nick. It's lovely to have you here. We have a few questions for you about your catapult project. How long did this project take and how did the students perform? All right, so anyway, we're, our students take two weeks to build the catapults. They work with uh, a partner and they begin planning in class for the first week and doing a little bit of research. It's when we're winding up our uh, force and motion unit in concepts of physics and so the kids have had the opportunity to work with measuring and calculating our uh, simple machine action using wheel and axles and uh, levers and pulleys and a variety of different pieces of equipment so that they have that background before they start building the catapult. So uh, in essence we take about two weeks to work on it but the majority of the building gets done in the two weekends prior to the launch. Wow, that's a very intriguing response. Do you think the project was enjoyable for your students? Yeah, most of the kids really like this. I mean, obviously, we've gone through all of the paperwork and the calculations, you know, doing the math and the, and the different assignments that go along with the catapult project. But uh, this gives them a chance to shine. They get to do something that is a little bit more creative. You know, they get a chance to build some things with their hands. And some of the kids that aren't maybe as interested in reading and doing research have a, have a really good time and they have a good knack for working with the actual building of the project. I'm glad they were able to enjoy it. Were this year's inventions different from previous years? Uh, this, this year was kind of an exciting year because, you know, with our, our previous two years, we didn't have full school years and we had uh, the COVID situation where we were online uh, learning. So this year it was really exciting. I did have some excellent projects. A couple of them uh, were the trebuchet type designs, which are very difficult to perfect. And uh, two of those worked really, really well. Uh, and one girl who was taking welding out at Risa actually welded her catapult. And so it was exciting to have that. It was an actual metal catapult that was driven by a spring. And I'm sure she had some help at home, but it was just a fantastic job. And it was a great chance for her to show off her welding skills. So uh, that was a first time experience for me with the catapults is that it had a completely metal uh, catapult that was driven by metal springs. Oh, wow. The kids are really putting their creativity to the test. Now we have Ava Foster here with us today to tell us more about how the catapult project went. She is going to answer a few questions we have for her since she experienced the catapult project. What was the hardest part about this project? The hardest part about this project is when we finished it and we had to measure the accuracy of the catapult and it was really hard to make it go like exactly 20 feet and it took us a lot of trials. That sounds like a challenge. What was your planning process for the project? We didn't really have a planning process for our project. We kind of just looked at other designs on the internet and then we kind of just like used pieces here and there for our project. Nice job. What materials did you use to make your catapult? We used PVC pipes, wood, a bungee cord, screws. Interesting materials. In the end, did you feel like the project was a success? Overall, I feel like our project was successful because we made it 19 feet and we got a 19 out of 20. And I feel like our team worked together very well to construct the catapult. I'm glad you thought it went well. Thank you, Mr. Nick, for your time, along with Ava Foster, for coming in to talk to us about the project. It's greatly appreciated. I'm your reporter, Ashley Tavares, with M6, your hometown station.